hey guys welcome back to another video so in the previous video i have told you that how you can use angular material so and also i have told that how you can do a set of visual studio code in your system so if you have done those things so i will tell you today so how you can use the angular material component globally so you will create a one uh, module so inside that you will import all the modules so no need to import in the every component and every place so so I, i'm gonna tell you those so let's create a one folder so inside that add for uh, add folder i will create a one module so i will show you how you can create so i will go inside this folder okay i will type as a ng generate as a module m for module i will type as a name angular module so it will generate a module inside that f folder so now you can see there is a one folder i has got created so what i will do i will remove this all i will put my imports so these are the imports okay so for example i will tell you how you can use the mat tree tool tips mat tab module radio button and normal button form control form field and these all stuffs will come so no need to import it again so what i will do so i will copy this class after copying from here i will go inside that app module what i will do i will import this so i will hover on it i will click on this so it will import from this location you can see this is uh, comes under this file correct so now your complete file is got imported so now i will show you so i will generate i will open this project now so now it will open the browser once it is got built i will show you how you now how it works so now you can see inside this app.html i have a one button so which is a angular button let's compile successfully So it's got compiled. So now it will open in the browser. Just wait a moment. Now you can see this. This is the Angular material uh, button only. So for example, I will go to this Angular uh, websites and I will show you the input fields and all stuffs how it works now. For example, if you want this button, so what I will do? I will copy this HTML code. I will go here and paste it down. So I will remove this ng model. For now, I don't want to use any TypeScript file. Just I want to show you how it's work globally your Angular material. So you can see here this button will looks like the like this okay so it's got compiled now you can see this is the button which is came here correct so similarly for example if you want to import anything menu let me so okay copy this trigger okay i will go in i'll put it down here it's compiled now you can see this is the menu button once i click it came over here right similarly if you want to use any form field 
I'll show you. So, for example, you want this one. So, I'll go inside this. So, I will take this one. I'll paste it down. It's compiled successfully. If you'll go to browser now, so you can see this is the text field. Correct? So it is the outline if you want to make as a change different one so you will have a different one as well. Now you can see the different text boxes came correct. Similarly if you want to use cards which one I will show you ok this one so this looks simple so i'll copy this i'll paste it down if you'll go to browser you can see this came over here right so these all are works based on your angular material so in the previous video i've shown you only for the button so now we can use entire angular material whatever it's needed so only you have to write the syntax properly so it will come automatically okay so in the next video i will tell you how you can create a dialog box or anything like let's say if you'll go anyone so click over here so you can able to see this is getting open and there is a something written over it right so once you click ok it's getting closed so these things i will tell you in the next video Thank you so much.